In this video, we will learn Angular NG4 track by with examples. In our previous video, we have discussed how to use NG4 directive in Angular application. NG4 track by is used to improve the performance of an Angular application. In this video, we will understand what exactly is NG4 track by, when and how to use this in Angular application. We use NG4 directive to display our data on the HTML template. When we have less number of items in the list, it will work fine. But when we have large number of items in the list, performance of this ng4 directive will not be good. Let's see how can we improve the performance when we have large number of records. Here we are using the same application and it is running on the browser. In the component, we have two lists here. We are displaying these items in the HTML template. See in the browser, here we have both the list. It works fine when we have list number of items in the list. First, we will understand what is the problem in this approach. For that, in the component file, let's create a new method. Let's say method name refresh and return type void. Now, I want to get this list uh, from this method. So use this and copy this list from here and paste it. Now, let's add one more data here. Change the name and salary and save the changes. In the HTML file, Below the table, let's add one button. Button text will be refresh. Here I will use click event. Here I will call this method refresh. Paste it here and save the changes. Now let's see in the browser. See here we have refresh button. Here we have body. Expand this app root table and expand this T body. Here we have all the rows. Now click this refresh button. See here we have all the records here also. Here we have to understand what is happening. When we click this refresh button, we are calling this uh, refresh method here. We are assigning all these items in this list again. It means uh, first we have all these items in this list. In this method, again we are assigning all these items in this list. So, see here, when I click this refresh button, you have to notice your T body and TR color. So, it will be updated. Click this refresh button, see here body and the TR color is updated. Okay. When I click this refresh button, Angular will remove all the TRs from this table and based on the data, how many number of rows we have in the list, it will create those rows again. Here we have uh, 5 to 6 items in this list, so it is updating in no time. But if you have complex list, that we have to calculate the logic for each row and columns. In that scenario, removing all the TOs and adding it again will impact the performance of the application. By default, Angular will track all the changes by the reference of this particular objects. That is why this HTML is deleted from DOM and it will add it again. We can handle this situation by using ng4 track by. Let's see how we can do that. Go back to VS Code. Here in the HTML file, put a semicolon here. Here we have to use track by caps B, Y, and name of the function. Let's say refresh employees. We have to create this function. In our component file so copy this here paste it here 
inside this method we have to pass two parameter first parameter is index and its type number second parameter is this object so here we can use employee here we will use type any we can also create a model in this application and we can assign all these names by using that model we can define the type here as of now we do not have model in this application so i am using uh, this any here at this place it will track all the changes based on one single column here we will track the changes by using the name so we have to specify the type of that particular column type of this name is string in this method we have to return string employee dot name save the changes go back to the browser your expand this body app root table t body here we have five tiers uh, when i click this refresh button you have to notice color of this uh, t body and all these tiers now i click this refresh button see your uh, color of new tier is updated this t body and uh, these tiers are unchanged if i click this refresh button there is no change in the list it means angular is not making any change while rendering of this data no matter how many times we click this button there is no impact in the list ng4 track by is very helpful when we have complex and large number of items in the list if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this video see you there in next video